What's up, everybody? We're back with a banger. I got a really, really good video planned for you guys today. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, we're going over my tech portfolio that helped me land my first IT job. I actually built this portfolio in specific with Course Careers. Um, but I'm always preaching to everybody that if you are trying to get your first IT job, you really need to build one of these, especially if you don't have any prior IT experience, any degrees, certifications. Um, this is really how you can get your foot in the door and show uh, potential employers that you are really, you know, interested, you're really passionate um, about um, building your technical skills, and you're willing to actually, in your free time, go and complete different um, tasks uh, by doing labs and then document those labs in a portfolio so you can talk about them during the job interview um, with these potential employers, right? It's, um, it's super impressive. It shows that you're going above and beyond. And I think in this current job market, you really have to do that. Exactly. You have to go above and beyond um, to outwit the competition and to really just outwork them, right? So if we get into my, uh, my particular portfolio, this is on GitHub and, um, I built this with the Course Careers program. You don't have to, portfolio doesn't have to look exactly like mine. You don't have to go through Course Careers to build a tech portfolio. Um, but I had no idea what it was um, until I went through that IT program. And, um, and I believe mine's pretty dang clean. Um, I haven't really added to it. But for what it is, it's gotten me really far so far. I've been in IT for a year and a half now. Um, my first IT job was at Disney as a contract position. Um, and I stayed there for 10 months and now I work for Kaseya, um, which is a software company. They're on the, um, Miami heat arena, which is really cool and, um, make five figure increase from what I was getting paid at Disney. I'm working with them doing, um, basically cybersecurity tech support. Um, and it's really, really fun. Um, super duper, um, demanding, but it's really, really uh, empowering when you solve these problems and then, you know, I'm getting all these great benefits. So I just feels good that I really am getting my foot in this field, in this niche, um, in this career. And I'm slowly, but surely leveling up, uh, just in a year and a half. Right. But in the event, um, so the portfolio, if you guys check it out, um, right when you open it up and see, I put this link on my uh, resume, right? So most people, most job um, reviewers, I guess, when they are trying to hire someone, they're going to go through your resume online. So having a hyperlink on your resume is really, really easy, really clean. They can click this, go into your portfolio, right? Okay. They go into your portfolio and they get to see a picture of what you look like. And I have it cool. Hi, I'm Demesio. I'm an IT professional. Awesome. Um, and so I like to bring this up, uh, during job interviews and we could, I could literally bring it up with the whoever's interviewing me and we could be like, okay, yeah. So I, um, you know, I build a ticketing system in a virtual machine and I actually have, um, that in my tech portfolio. They'll be like, Whoa, what do you mean? And so, you know, I'll click into, um, my, the first, uh, repository in here and I'll go through here and then there I'll show them. I'll be like, yeah, you know, here's, you know, the installation steps and here's the things that I did. I did it in an Azure virtual machine. And um, I use the OS ticket um, installation files and, um, and yeah, and you can, and you can see right through here, it's basically like an, I almost think of it as like a YouTube tutorial that you type out, right? So welcome to my first in-depth IT tutorial today, uh, to begin, we will create a virtual machine using Microsoft Azure and, uh, with, and then it explains a little bit what a virtual machine is, explains why I'm using a virtual machine. And then some steps essentially to um, maneuver through Microsoft Azure, which is a cloud-based uh, platform. It can do a lot of different things. One of the things it can do is use it for creating VMs, having sandbox environments. This is all super duper like technical, but when you're first getting into it, this is all easily understandable if someone just explains it to you, explaining what a VM is. When you go through the program, you're going to go all through that and then explaining to you know a potential employer that listen i've built a ticketing system um, in a virtual machine um, you know i configured everything i and then in order to get into the virtual machine i used rdp you can show look remote desktop connection um, and really i included screenshots i included the installer process um, you know i really was trying to 
go as crazy as possible with the document that I made. Um, and then you can see post installation and configuration. If you go through here, I show you uh, what it was like after I um, uh, after I configured everything, right? And um, and how I set everything up, and how I added new departments, and and see, I made a, a level two support, and this is all mock. Um, you know, this is all like a test environment. This is all not a real company that I'm making a ticketing system for, but it's all the same thing that I'd be doing in a job, right? I'm um, dealing with ticketing systems, dealing with SLAs. And through my portfolio, what I was able to do is, is, is demonstrate my, um, demonstrate my proficiency in just going out, finding this information and then learning about it and then being able to perform it, write about it, talk about it, be verbose in an inter uh, in a job interview, right? Um, you guys have to understand that in the current job market, um, people are trying to go out there, they're trying to get degrees, and they think that the degree is going to be the thing that gets them over that hump. And that's not going to be it. Because if you have a degree, and I have a tech portfolio, and I'm going through them, and I'm showing them how I'm configuring Active Directory within a VM, um, you know, they're going to be like, whoa, this dude seems a little bit more technical than this guy who's completed all these classes. He doesn't even have a tech portfolio, doesn't have any hands-on skills, he's not worked with any software. Um, so that's why having this specific piece of, um, I guess, this specific weapon in your arsenal when you're on your IT job hunt, and this is why it's so important. And then I explain, I even include, you know, um, screenshots that I got from the course, just explaining how the uh, virtual machines and kind of what the network looks like of how, um, you know, you have your client, you join the domain with a DC, um, which is basically a server. Um, and yeah, it's, it's super cool. Um, and this all look may look technical, but if you were to read everything and just follow the step by steps, I um, mean, it would actually be quite easy, right? You're just clicking and following and inputting information. Once you do that enough times, you don't need anybody to explain to you how to do it anymore. And that's how it is with the job that I work in. You know, I'm working with VMs. I work with, I, wrote, I work in remote monitoring and management and with antivirus and, and EDR seams. And I'm dealing with all these different platforms and integrations and dealing with all this different software and um and having to develop workflows and knowing how to navigate the software and learning how to navigate this technical robust piece of 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 um this technical program it's a program it's a software a piece of software but it can do so many different things and just showing that you can go through there and learn the different mechanisms and the features and learn what they do um in one specific type of software like an os ticket it means that you could do the same thing in Zendesk, which is another type of ticketing system that I actually work with. Um, I never got, you know, I got taught how to use Zendesk when I was training in the job I'm in, but um, but for them to believe that I can maneuver in, in Zendesk and maneuver the different platforms, me having my portfolio right there to show them in, in, in literal, in my words, uh, that I can do it, you know what I'm saying? That I've done it before. Um, me walking into this job, it wouldn't be a problem. That's huge, right? And um, and a lot of no one's really making these tech portfolios. Um, when I was when I got into my job, and I had I was in like a hiring class with a, quite a few different people, like fifteen people, and I was talking to them, you know, just mingling. And most of them had made a tech portfolio, so it was almost like wow, these people. And it's like nobody tells you that you need to do this, right? It's not in the job description. In the job description, it says two to five years. Meanwhile, I had one month of experience doing a course and I got into, you know, a Disney IT contract job. Um, and through that, I was just explaining through three levels of interviews, my tech portfolio, explaining the different um, skills that I have been developing, explaining, you know, how... Um, I'm intuitive, right? I can pick things up quickly, but also like I'm, I can search for information. I can find information. I'm not lazy and I'm really trying to grow and build. And in that right there, they're like, dude, we're, we want to hire you, right? You don't need to have four year degree. That one month of course experience and then explaining, dude, I've set up active directory on a server. That's system administrator experience, right? You'd start telling me yeah, I have sysadmin experience setting up. They're going to be like, whoa, this dude's tight, you know, this guy's thorough. 
and um and then essentially you know you tailor your resume so the whatever job you're tr you're trying to transition from right so if you're a freaking cash uh, guy at the cash register you talk about how you have uh, experienced troubleshooting point of sale uh technical issues because shoot you're on a you're on a pos machine taking orders i'm sure it sometimes messes up so guess what we're going to talk about the experience you have troubleshooting those problems experience uh troubleshooting maybe some different the wi-fi in the store um all these different things and aspects that you can look at your job lenses you can look at the job you're transferring from um and and make it seem more technical right um they don't need you to already have had an IT job, but they just want to see that you can at least pull the skills from whatever job you had and pull out whatever would have been applicable and then demonstrate that and be like, listen, I, I have this, I have critical thinking, I have, um, you know, problem solving skills, whatever, um, whatever, however you sell yourself. But the tech portfolio itself is going to be a huge part in that. So I just wanted to come through here, show you guys kind of what it looks like, show you guys. Um, you guys can go on here and check it out. It's github.com slash Nemesio IT. You can go through here, read my tech portfolio, see how um, I wrote about, see how I essentially structured it and, um, and, and see what how such a small little portfolio can really take you a long way to the point where I even had haven't even had to add to it um, just because this itself has been pretty dang good for me so far only in a year and a half into um, the I, my IT career um, but think about it I was able to transition in one month so um, I think it's you know I think it's I'm in a super blessed position that's why I made this channel because I want to be able to give you guys that knowledge or drop that knowledge, um, drop it off to people who actually want to to know about it, to hear it, and to level up with it. So um, I'm going to keep putting out amazing videos for you guys. I just wanted to get this one out here. Um, I wanted to just kind of do like a no cut style video. We go over the portfolio, explain to you guys why it's so important do my little rants like I do and be on the lookout for another video. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me get this out to more people, the more people that gets it out to. It just encourages me to make more videos because I know my vids are being watched. So I appreciate you guys so much. I think I got to go pick my girlfriend up uh, right now. Yep. So it's a perfect time to end the video. Um, you guys just remember, make this portfolio change your life. And uh, the more learning, the more earning. Peace out, everybody.